hey what's going on guys in this video I'm gonna show you how to create how to connect your SendGrid account to your system.io accounts so why do we need this because we need this because SendGrid account have higher delivery rate 99% of cases if you send emails through SendGrid your emails will likely to reach to the customer inbox rather than spam folder because um, <coughs> SendGrid have a higher deliverability rate as you can see 99% of the time and a lot of brands big brands are using SendGrid you can see Instacart, Airbnb, Spotify, Uber <coughs> so we can connect this uh, SendGrid account to system.io through APIs so if you don't have SendGrid account you can click on start for free or if you have just click on sign in so I will see you in the next module so after signing in you will be uh, arrive in this dashboard here so the next thing is go to your system.io account if you don't have get it, click on get uh, my free account get started I'll leave a link in the description below to start your 14 day free trial and it's free forever for but for the limitation and if you click uh, if you buy from the link I will get a commission and I really appreciate so if you don't have account uh, click on this get it started or if you have click on there and if you want to click uh, connect the uh, send it to system by you have to go through settings and go to the mailing settings and this is your API key okay so <coughs> I have already connected but in your dashboard you don't you'll not be able to see this so where do we get this we will get this from SendGrid go to the settings go to API keys and this keys I have already done this so I will do this you'll not see this on your <coughs> on your SendGrid account if you haven't already created so it's pretty simple click on this create a, create a api key and just write anything you want so in purpose we are connected to system.io so i'll write system.io just like this so you only have to select this option don't select this 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 just select this full access and create and view click on that so here is your api key just copies and save it somewhere because this is as you can see you can read this please copy this key and save it somewhere sa somewhere else for security reason you can show it to you again so if you don't copy now if you just click on done you'll be not be able to see this key again because it's it's for security reasons so you have to just copy and uh, save in your notepad or document wherever you want so we have get this <coughs> API key so next thing is to go to your set system data account and <coughs> I've already done this so what we you need to do is you need to click on that and just paste over here once you have done that <coughs> you can uh, enter this this is your s business emails and this is your test email and if you haven't done that you can always you know try to input here because for future if you want to test your emails whether they are landing on the inbox or in the spam folder or promotion you can you know get a email address and just uh, input here for the testing purposes so after done that you just have to click on save and <coughs> let's test email okay also you have to go to the newsletter to test the emails so I have already this email so I will just test this email again so you have to, here is an option save and test the email again so just 
speak on that and let's check the quality to turn out uh, terrible now you can go check let's check that email <coughs> <coughs> So, as you can see, the email hasn't arrived, but it will soon. It may take up to one or two minutes. So, we send the email, and as you can see, uh, the email has been sent successfully. So, that's it, guys. That's how you connect system.io to SendGrid. And I want to tell you another important thing. Make sure your IP address is not blacklisted. That means if your domain name or if your email address, the email that you are sending from the email address is blacklisted or not, you have to check it from here. So, for example, let me check an email. Mm. Can see I'm checking the emails that are going to the spam folder, and what I will do is I will check their you know, I will check their email address if their email are uh, going to this inbox or not. This is their email address, so I will go and check blacklist. As you can see, so the email address has been blacklisted. This is the IP address of that email, so it is blacklisted. That means this email will most likely to arrive in your in the e customer spam folder. That's because uh, maybe he have maybe they have sent some spammy content or HTML content so what ISP internet service provider does is their blacklist their <coughs> IP address so <coughs> if you if, if your email are going to the spam folder what you have to do you have to copy your <coughs> domain or your spam sorry or your business email and you just have to you know paste here and check for blacklist and you can see if you if there is if 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 you have if your email is blacklisted you can you'll be able to see it here so isp blacklist the <coughs> ip address because <coughs> they don't want to <coughs> um, harm their customers like gmail yahoo outlook they are all isp so if your heavy if, if your email uh, email address is going to the spam folder or you have to check your IP address if you if your email address is backlisted the option is you have to buy a new email address and you have to just warm it up and so you can also you can also watch a video from this just search educate ed educate email spam <coughs> you can watch this video and you'll be you'll have a nice idea about why your email go to the spam or promotion rather than email uh, inbox uh, so this is for today i'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching guys <laughs>